Hello everyone, welcome back to the Month of Scary Games, I'm Dark Caron, and this one may look a little different, I'm having to record it differently just because of how the game functions. Um, this is a game called Next Door, and the reason why I'm doing this one is because um, any of you who've caught my streams and talked to me a little bit about <laughs> about uh, my taste in uh, literature and horror uh, will know that I'm a big fan of Junji Ito. And this is actually a, a video game adaptation of his uh, story, The Woman Next Door. Um, and apparently it's fairly faithful to it, so uh, we'll get into it and figure out what's going on. So we are this nice uh, young lady. Our neighbor is playing music that's a little bit too loud, so we have an issue. Oh, come on. I can't study with this noise all, all the time. I should give that guy upstairs a piece of my mind. You should. I agree. All right, so we don't have any button inputs just yet. I'm sure when we have an interactable, we will have something to pop up. There we go, very simple. All right. So we live in a not amazing place, uh, obviously. Um, you know, uh, I imagine this lady is a poor college student and uh, when you're a poor college student, you're your funding for living in high-class, uh, well-maintained buildings is not exactly the best. I'm not really thirsty. Well, get a drink anyway. Oh, we've hit the edge, guys. We're going up the stairs now. Yeah, so this game was made in uh, Game Maker, uh, if the installer <laughs> is the same thing you go off of. And I've, I've, I've seen a couple of games made off of it, and they all seem like, if, if you're trying to do kind of something like this, uh, a game of this at this level, it's uh, fairly fairly good. Uh, uh, according to the music, this is his door. Hello? What do you want? Could you please lower the volume? You always have it unbearably loud. You, you call this loud? Yes, it is. It's, if you can hear it through the floor, it's probably a little loud, yeah. You're disturbing the peace. I bet you're the only one that complaining. You're too uptight. If the neighbor says it's too loud, I'll think about it. Watch me. You wait right here. <laughs> yeah, you better wait. I'll show you. Your neighbor doesn't like it either. Isn't that right, neighbor? Excuse me. They probably can't hear us knocking because of the music. <laughs> Are you home? Anybody there? Probably not home. They seem to be away a lot. Away? You sure it's not just an empty room? Of course they don't complain if nobody lives there. No, it isn't empty. Sometimes I hear the door opening and closing. Doesn't seem to be anyone around today, though. They only come out at night. <laughs> well, go ask. Oh, see, oh, sh they were there. Hello, Matt, um, madam. I, I at least I assume, madam. Did you? Oh, she just gone. I'm confused as well, guys. I don't know what's happening. She was home. Looks kind of freaky too. That's the first time I ever seen her. Why all the black? What's going on? Could you argue somewhere else, please? How could you hear us over the music? It's not her again. Uh oh, yeah, it's the nosy neighbor. I think we all I think we all know somebody like that. <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask you something? I'm from downstairs. Does the loud music from that apartment bother you too? Well a little, but our rooms are separated. You should ask his next door. She just left. And there isn't anyone else. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure more women are living there. A strange bunch. They all have a different figure. But they dress completely in black. And they never say anything. Not even a hello. Very unfriendly if you ask me. Huh. If that's all, dear, I still have some laundry to do. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. 
That is weird and all. But doesn't really help me with the noise issue. Better get back to my room to try some more studying. Yeah, gotta stay on topic. We gotta stay on target. Don't let ourselves get distracted by the weird women. Sounds like the guy has not turned off his music. It's so delightful. Wonderful. Alright, so back to our room it is, I guess. I, I suppose we're just going to give up on the studying today. Are we thirsty now? Nope, still not thirsty. Drat. The vain hope of something to interact with. <laughs> we walk, we walk. Got a nice little leisurely pace going, too. Just kind of strolling along. Very easy going. Hey, the music stopped. What happened? After all that trouble he gave me. Oh, well, I can finally do some studying. Yep, gotta make you gotta make use of the time. Whew. It's already dark. I could really use a drink. Oh, now she's thirsty, of course. Can't get a drink when I want to get a drink. It's always when she wants to get a drink. Did I hear did I hear something right there? Oh, it's me walking. Oh, okay. Whew, whew. I thought I was hearing something like knock about some. Is there a, is there a person there? Maybe I'm hearing and seeing things. Oh no, look, it is him. It's that guy from upstairs. Hey, what are you doing down there? Huh? Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. What's gotten into you? You're white as a sheet. Can I ask you something? Sure. Those ladies next door to me. What's up with them? What do you what do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how many people live there, but they never make a single sound. And with these thin walls. I should at least be able to hear them talk or move around or something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't look behind you. It's freaking me out. Ah! Dot, dot, dot. Menacingly. Is she a bit taller than the one we saw earlier? Yeah, what? Was the, was the one we saw earlier that tall? Huh? Who are they? What things are they doing next door? What are they doing that not a single sound leaks through those walls? Uh, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> see you around. <laughs> yeah, see you later, crazy guy. I'll leave him be. Yeah, we're just going to the situation. It has nothing to do with us. Uh, I guess he had never thought about it before, but... Uh, us, us talking about it, he must have had a recollection of like, hey, wait a minute. What was that? It's not like it came from upstairs. It's none of our business, lady. Just go back to your room. Go back to your room and go to sleep. Don't even worry about it. Oh, God. The screen fan came from upstairs. We, <laughs> we have to investigate. Oh, my God. <laughs> Call the cops and go to your apartment. It's none of our concern. You're but a you're but a single girl, unarmed woman. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a kitty cat. It's a weird backing. Meow. Yeah, I don't have to voice act to you. Whose cat is this? It has a cursed face. Yeah, it has a cat cursed back too. Its back looks like a skull. What a creepy ass cat. Holy hell. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was just, uh, some kind of creepy mask at first or something, but nope. <laughs> what if this lady here hurt anything? All right, we can't ask her. Ooh, gross, gross, gross. I knew, I, like I said, not not the best living conditions. It doesn't doesn't 
doesn't help this guy just keeps piles of garbage outside his door, apparently. Hello? Are you okay? The door seems to be open. I guess we're going in. Nothing bad ever happened from sticking your nose in something that wasn't your business. Nothing bad ever happened. That's weird. No place home. Yeah. It's a la large damn boombox you got there, sir. Holy hell. No wonder the noise is so loud. They really don't make any sound. That is strange. Okay, there's a hole over there. Must have been the wind. Yeah. Sure, there is a heavy wind at the window over to the right, so I guess that kind of checks out, I suppose. Let's go let's go spy on some people. This also has never done led anything bad. It's like she doesn't even watch horror movies or something. How did this get here? It looks made. Maybe that guy did it. Get it real close. Yeah, get your eye right up to the hole. Yeah, what's that noise? What is she? She's unscrewing screws from... What in the hell? Uh-oh. She caught us. I think. Ah! Dot, 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 dot. Let's get a real close look at... Oh! Okay, that... <laughs> God! Holy shit! So she was like... Oh my... Holy... Get, get back up! Get back! Oh my god, what the hell? What is she? Those limbs! Why do they extend and contract? Does this mean... All of those women with different figures were exactly the same woman? How does she find outfits for all of her sizes? Oh, so yeah, so the person, she was taller when she came back. That explains a lot. Where is she going? Oh, that was her. Oh, no. Is she leaving? I think she left. Yeah, did she leave? Yeah, I think she left. She could still be in the hallway. I guess we should check the hole again, maybe? No, we can't. Um. Okay. So we won't can't leave, so I guess we go over here. Oh, because cause we can see outside and see if she left or not. Oh, Jesus. She could really... Okay, we need to leave now. I do have to say that the artwork for the, those sections there is actually really good. Jesus, this is creepy as hell. Get, just get, stand up and leave. Please leave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I escaped just in time. As if nothing happened, the woman continued to reside next door. Yeah, see, she's way shorter here than she was when she came back. I'm moving away as fast as I can. Well, you're very lucky she didn't kill you. <laughs> or whatever she did to the guy. Which I'm, I'm, assuming they, I'm assuming she did something to the guy. Alright, so that was um, next door. Uh, here, I'll leave the credit. Let the credits go because I think it was a single person who made this. Oh no, there was a couple involved. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think that followed almost exactly um, what happened in the Junji Ito story as well. I've read it once, like a long, long time ago, and I think that's kind of what happened. Uh, I think some details may be different, but. Um, one thing I have noticed, um, yeah, support Jim Gideo's work. He's a uh, he's a very talented, uh, very talented, hor talented horror author, uh, who is actually a very happy and, and go lucky, fun guy. Uh, he's a he's a typical um, nice uncle type fellow. 
Uh, so I think there may have been a different ending, because like, I think we had to back up. Um, so if there is, I'll uh, get this going again and we'll, we'll check it out. <laughs> anything after that I passed out oh so it looks like the ending is going to be the same uh, I guess uh, if you don't back out and actually leave the uh, the lady just spooks you <laughs> just uh, spooks you gives you a little spook and leaves uh, probably would have made more sense if she killed you because she apparently killed the uh, the guy that lived there initially but uh, eh Whatever. Um, one thing that I will say um, say about Jun Junji Ito's stories, and it's not just him. It's not just him. It's uh, a lot of authors have this issue. Um, uh, he, it seems like he has an, ending, an issue with endings, <laughs> which I, I believe is a famous uh, complaint about uh, Stephen King stories, as the the endings are always not great. Um, I, I wouldn't say that his endings aren't good. I would say that they just kind of the story just kind of stops there's not really a, a sometimes for for me there's not really a satisfying conclusion there's just you know just here's the here's some spooky stuff now it's now the story's done let's move on <laughs> um so uh it will sometimes it sometimes uh, ends up feeling like a kind of like an anthology story more than like uh an anthology story that has some kind of loosely based threads together more than like a continuous narrative. Sometimes it feels like that. Other times he he, he tells a one continuous story very well, like uh, uh, Uzu, Uz, Uzumaki, I think is how you say it. Yeah, the, the spirals story. Uh, and his all of his short stories are very good as well. So anyway, I've rambled on enough about Junji Ito and how he's great. Um, <laughs> I'll let you all, I'll let you all go. I'll end the video here. So uh, <laughs> I thank you all for joining me uh, on this little short little video, and I'll see you guys next time.